What's good, sneakerheads? Back here with the post Christmas one. Um, I think y'all gonna like this one because I know I am. Before we get into it, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers and all future subscribers um, because we just hit 200 and that's great. I feel awesome. I really appreciate y'all. I hope you're enjoying everything that you're seeing. Um, I got plenty more coming. This was a great Christmas present and a great way to ring in the new year. Um, you know, all we can go here is up. So, you know, let's go for three, four, five, six, all the way up. Everything's going to be changing. I got more lights coming too. Um, yeah, I got a lot more videos in the works. So, I hope y'all stick around. We got a lot more stuff coming, including this banger of a video. So stick around. I think you're really going to enjoy it. Um, as you can see, I got a few little things right here. Um, this is a hint to what I got. <laughs> I didn't get all of them, though. I, I don't like the flavors that much. Uh, but I did get one of these flavors. Leave down in the comments which one you think I got. I don't know if y'all cheated and like went forward, so don't do that. Just leave comment on which one you think I got. I think it gave you enough time to do that. So, first off, shout out to Social Status for hooking it up. I got lucky with this one. This was the last size 12 that they had. Social Status Charlotte. Make sure to check them out. Amazing store. So, Let's get into it, because I cannot wait. Get that out of here. First off, got to show that box. Mike logo on the top of it. Funny thing is, you know, I've been called AJ my whole life. Um, my real birth name's Mike or Michael, so I'm definitely going to keep this. Uh, my wife actually got me one of those um, Mike... Gatorade shirts for Christmas, the Jordan one, so definitely gonna wear that with these. And size 12. The box is great though. The box has that little Gatorade line and everything on it, so let's see what we got. First off, you got the Gatorade towel that comes with it. This is an awesome towel. I love this towel. I'm gonna put that there so I can put the shoes on it. Definitely gonna be putting this somewhere. On the wall, somewhere. You got the, uh, you know, wrapping that's got some bubbles on it. And, dun dun dun, dun you know, I had to get that lime green, that lemon lime. Get the other one out of here. Get rid of this box. So, whoever picked lemon lime, congrats. You don't want anything, but whatever. So these are the Jordan 1 Be Like Mike Cyber Lemon Lime Gatorade pack flavor colorway thing um they had all but the purple one up there and i got lucky enough uh when i got to the counter i was like the 10th person there and when i got to the counter the dude was boxing these back up and uh he was like what do you need i was like size 12 he was like lucky day man right here dude in front of me uh grabbed him put him next to his foot or something and thought they were too big and gave him back so don't know your name, shout out to you Holmes for putting them back, otherwise I would have had to pay resell on these, and uh, don't want to do that. But uh, this is a super, super bright colorway. This was also the most limited colorway out of that whole run. Um, I mean, dude, straight up, like, I, I had to eat, this is the first time I've looked at this particular one. Um, I felt a few of the other ones that they had sitting out and I just got to tell you the leather quality on these is super soft and like supple leather. This is the same kind of leather that came on the uh, I wouldn't say shattered backboard 
but it's like the ones that came on the um, the Rockefeller Records shoes, like a supp- supple, buttery leather, you know? The Shattered Backboards was like a whole nother quality, though. That was just super... I would actually go as far as to say it kind of feels like these, the leather from these. Like, this is some buttery, soft, just supple. That's my word right now, just supple leather. Um, so if you guys haven't copped or you're thinking about it, Definitely jump on the bandwagon. Uh, pick your flavor and go for it. I think that the orange, the blue, and the purple are still available on the sneakers app. Tried for the lime earlier, and they sold out like everything super quick. Um, I can only imagine why. I mean, everybody wants this one. Number one, because it was the most limited out of all the colorways. And number two, because... Back in, like, Gatorade was created in the 60s, and then it was released to the masses in the 70s. But the first two flavors to come out, Lemon Lime was one of them. I'm not entirely sure what the other one was. It was probably, like, Orange or Fruit Punch or something like that. Maybe even Grape. But, yeah, this was definitely one of the uh, first flavors. It's the one that everybody knows. It's personally my favorite flavor. And I drink a lot of Mellow Yellow. I love Mellow Yellow. So, I mean, Mellow Yellow, Lemon Lime, it's all basically the same thing. So, that's why I did it. Um, this came with the, you know, the Gatorade towel. Came with this little keychain. It's got Gatorade on one side and the wings on the other. The Jordan wings. You get three pairs of laces. You get the Lemon Limes. You get the white and you get the orange. They all have the orange tips to them. Uh, besides the super supple leather, this is the other reason why I wanted these. It's the only pair that you could vividly see Gatorade on the bottom. Like, just look how clear that is. That, you can't go wrong with that. The rest of them were so dark that it, and like, foggy, that you couldn't really tell. Um, get that line back up. Uh, it also has you know the orange leather not cloth this time orange leather nike check tag and be like mike on the tongue can't go wrong there it's also got the green nike air insole and on this one Take that out. Gatorade. So it's kind of got a cross, um, that's what I'm looking for, like a cross collab, you know, on the insoles. Um, now they came out with four different flavors of these. As you can see, they had the orange, they had the cool blue, they had the grape, and they had the lemon lime. I mean, all of them looked cool, I'm sure. I mean, a lot of the people that were in line with me uh, they copped, you know, the orange and the blue. Nobody really copped the purple ones, so. Um, now, these are coming out because, I mean, this is the 26th year since the commercial was aired, but it would have been made more sense to release it last year, but I'm sure that's when they came up with the idea. Um, so it's the 26th year. They came out with the commercial. It first aired August 8th, 1991. Um, that was the first time to be like Mike and all that stuff was on TV. Um, now it's actually kind of funny, but the, the commercial, the whole be like Mike slogan and everything else was originally, um, supposed to be done over the jungle book theme kind of like Be Like Me or something like that was the name of the song. Um, but they wanted something ridiculous, like $350,000 for like five weeks to do it. So their um, promo executive or something like that um, went out to a restaurant and wrote up the lyrics to Be Like Mike in like 15 minutes on a napkin, which is kind of cool. And then he shopped it around to like three or four different places that wrote the music for it, sang it, and he chose one, and then it you know went on from there. Uh, but the funny thing is, Jordan at the time, back in 91, like early, was working with Coke. He was like a spokesman for Coke. And uh, the people that owned Gatorade at the time were uh, the Quaker Oats Company. And they bought Michael Jordan 
for $13.5 million on a 10-year contract to be an exclusive endorser for Gatorade. No other, just Michael. Um, that's pretty cool, but if that was like nowadays with Jordan or LeBron or something like that, you best believe they would have got like $50 million. <laughs> but back then, that was still a lot of money. So, But that was cool. I mean, his 10 years were clearly up a while ago, but it's cool that he's still going to you know, do a little something-something with them. Um, I love the fact that each of them had that little Gatorade lightning bolt on the back. That reminds me of like the fragments, I think they were. You know, the $1,200, all right, here's a picture. Those, I'm pretty sure they're the fragments. I keep getting them crossed up. Um, but they remind me of the fragments with that little inlay right there. And if you look close, there's the wings. As always with the Jordan 1. Now, I cannot speak enough of how good quality these are. Like, the leather is just amazing on them. Like, they just feel so, so good. Usually they feel stiff, you know? And they're tumbled all the way around, as you can see. I mean, look at the close-up of that. It's tumbled all the way around. Toe box. Everything is tumbled on it. You go to any of the other Jordan ones, and you know, when you get to about right here, it's like stiff. Back here, it's not tumbled. Right here is not tumbled, but that just shows you how good this leather quality is. It's got the same, you know, interior. It's got the same smell. <sighs> Can't wait to put these on. Cannot wait to rock these. Definitely rocking them with sole protectors. And I got a video coming up to show you how to make your own for cheap. So keep an eye out for that with grips and everything. Like good quality ones for cheap. Um, so keep an eye out for that one. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know in the comments. Did y'all cop a colorway? Did y'all really want this one but couldn't get it? Because I got really close to not being able to get it. Um, what was your favorite colorways out of the bunch? Uh, do you agree with me on the quality of these? Because... If you don't, you must be blind. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you all had a great Christmas. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Follow me on all my social medias. That way you can stay up to date on my latest cops, video drops, all that good stuff, sneaker news, everything else. Um, yeah, stay tuned for some on feet, some good pictures, everything else. So I hope you all have a good one. Till next time, peace.